everyone and this is just you know i'm trying to develop in something about the website you know uh, you just you know try to copy the link here solution website and yeah that's name is you know a bit weird for the name of a website but you know i'm just trying for it okay so this is just the interface of what the website content is examination solution right and right the videos are constantly being updated and this is the solution I have covered, okay? About Gakubu Math, Gakubu Chemistry, Gakubu Physics, and this will be coming soon. Coson Chemistry and Senshu, right? And yep, I think maybe I could, you know, touch in content with the A-levels and everything. And if you want to suggest, you know, what kind of content that I should make, and you just, you know, can make your... A submission here for the email or you can actually you know directly contacted me at the gmail and for the instagram uh account it has actually already been created but i will develop it soon okay so yeah stay tuned for the next you know, update hello everyone welcome to this gakubu maths b 2014 for part one number three Okay, so this is what we could call it, the type of composition function. Okay, so let's just see the question there. fx is 3x plus 1 over 2x plus 1, then gx is px plus 1 over 2x minus 3. They satisfy the relation of f, gx equals x. Okay. So you can see that there's a part where x is unequal to minus half and 3 over 2. We just ignore that. That means that, you know, in this type of function with a fraction, you cannot make this fraction here. The, uh, I think it's denominator or numerator, just, you know, the below part here, you cannot make that zero. So you can see that if you actually uh, substitute that with minus half, 2 times minus half is minus 1 right plus one is zero so it's just you know like a like a term that you just ignore that okay and then you need to find b now as i said in the first uh time there is a composition function now what is composition function composition function is that it's just that two function we just compose it into one function so for example let's just say the sim the simpler example 2x right gx is let's say 3x plus 1 so composition function is you try to compose that into one so fx the f of gx is that gx you substitute that to this one so 2 3x plus 1 so that is 6x plus 2 let's try another example let's say fx is 3x squared plus 5x and then let's say the gx is uh, 4x plus 2. So what is f of gx? We just substitute this into the x of the fx. So that is 3, 4x plus 2 squared, right? 5, 4x plus 2. So you just calculate that. That is 16x squared plus 2 times 4 times 2. Uh, is 16x plus 4 plus 20x plus 10 and you just multiply it 40x 48x squared plus 40x 48x plus 12 plus 20x plus 10 and you get it 48x squared plus 68x plus 22 so there's the same case with the original question you just you know try to compose this function of gx into the variable of the fx okay so you just change that three change with gx px plus 1 2x minus 3 plus 1 right 3 3 x plus 1 over 2 px plus 1 2x minus 3 uh, minus no plus 1 okay so 3x plus 1 2x plus 1 let's say this is equal to x now we need to find p Okay, so we need to, you know, simplify this. Let's just try to multiply that. 
3px plus 3 over 2x minus 3 plus 1, right? And this is 2px plus 2, 2x minus 3 plus 1 equals x, okay? So we continue to simplify that. So this is just the math of simplification. Just the initial matter here, you just need to understand what is composition function, okay? So, you know, let's just go on here. You multiply that, right? 2x minus 3, and then 2x plus 2, plus 2x minus 3, over 2x minus 3, equals x. This one, you can uh, cancel it, right? The simple way is, let's just let it this way. I'm just adding it up. So, you can cancel this. So, 3px plus 2x over 2x minus 3. And because this is divided, you reverse that. So, this 2x minus 3 over 2px uh, plus 2x minus 1, right? Equal to x. And then, you just cancel that. 3px plus 2x, 2px plus 2x minus 1 is equal to x, okay? And then, you multiply that to here, right? You move that, 3px plus 2x, you multiply it by x, 2px squared plus 2x squared minus x. Okay, so how to actually finish this? Now, you see that here, uh, uh, let's just try new things here. We factorize, and you factorize this too, okay? Mm. Okay, so this is, we can all divide it by x, right? So that is 3p plus 2 equals x, 2p plus 2 minus 1, right? And then, you reopen that. Reopen this factor, this factorization here, 2px plus 2x minus 1, okay? Mm, how to continue this? Okay, so now the, the trick here is that we didn't have, you know, any other equation. So, the way to do this is we put all with the variable p here, okay? And we put all with no variable of p here. So we got 3p minus 2px equals 2x minus 3. Okay? So, let's see here. This is the way to do it. You can see that the one that have variable x in this part is 2. Okay? With variable x, 2. This one is minus 2p. You can actually make that equal, so you get p is minus 1. Okay, you might say, you know, what the hell is that? But if you actually compare that with no variable x, uh, sorry, oh yeah, no variable x is 3p and minus 3, still p is equal minus 1. So the answer for number 3 is p equals minus 1. And you might ask whether that is a correct answer. Now, let me show you the answer key. There is actually as an, uh, the answer key for that. And you can see there the answer for part B, right? Part B number 3 is minus 1, right? So, that is the answer for Mathematics B 2014 of part 1 number 3. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you.